While debugging, modifying flags in the E flags or R flags register is a very common task. However, not every debugger makes this a straightforward or intuitive process. That is, many debuggers will make it easy through the UI. But debuggers like WinDebug require you to execute commands, which forces you to understand a little bit more about the structure of the E flags register. To set flags, we'll use the R command. And in order to understand what flag to target, we need to understand the bit pattern that represents the flag that we're interested in. Here's a table that does just that. This gives us the hexadecimal value that we need to modify. For example, the zero flag, which is common to toggle to change branching logic. We could use the hex value of 40. To help visualize this, we can open up a calculator and type in the value hex 40. If you look at the binary representation of this number, this tells us that the zero flag is actually the seventh bit. Knowing this, we can go into WinDebug. You can clearly see some of the more prevalent flags from the E flags register. And in this example, our zero flag is set to one. To toggle that value, we can use the R command to set EFL, which represents the E flags register. RFL would represent the R flags register in a 64 bit process. We can assign that to itself XOR with hex 40. The nature of XOR will therefore toggle the bit from its current state. And you can see now that not only has the overall value for E flags register been updated, but we've toggled the zero flag to zero. Running the same command will toggle the bit back on. This now gives you the capability to use the R command, the E flags register, and by looking up what bit you need to target, the ability to quickly toggle those values. Intuitive, perhaps not, but once you know, you know.